Hello everyone, welcome to Lever Guns 50. Today we're shooting these right here. These are Buffalo Boar. And uh, th these are 3855s. And it's supposed to be going, oh let's see, it's supposed to be going 1950 FPS feet per second. And uh, we're gonna test that out in this beautiful 94 Winchester and 3855. This is also a takedown model. Don't forget to check out our videos on this takedown model. We have a lot of videos on this uh, 3855. This is a brand new, made in Japan, uh, 94 Winchester. And uh, you check them videos out, it's really well made. So anyhow, let's take a look at these Buffalo board bullets. Now, According to the instructions on these, and you need to go check out Buffalo Boar uh, website, these 3855s are within the pressure rating for most of these 94s and stuff like that. And if I'm not mistaken, it's 38 cup. And what they were saying is the 38 cup comes from the 3030, which these bullets or these uh, 3855 was originally necked down to 3030. And so they're using that 3030 pressure level and they've been doing this for 20 years. They haven't damaged anything yet in uh, 20 plus years. But they got a nice little uh, article there that you ought to go read. And they, they, they say that these are, uh, you read in the article, they say that a lot of people use them in their 375 necks. They recommend that 375 Winchester. But don't take my word for it. Go to their website and check it out. All right, let's get to shooting into some uh, ballistic material and see how well these bad boys expand, and also see what kind of uh, see what kind of uh, velocities they're going out of this 20 inch 94 Winchester. Like I said, I'm going to leave some links up here to the other uh, videos with this 94 Winchester and 3855, and uh, let's get started. All right, we're going to just drop one in here. All right, going to shoot across the chronograph and into that ballistic material and see how she goes. All right, got to take it off of safety first. All right, going to shoot across the chronograph and into that ballistic material. Had a little bit of recoil to it. Let's look at that primer. That primer is somewhat flattened, but like a 30-30, let's go check out the carnage. Okay, there was a little bit off on the velocity. It's 1947. That is not bad at all. That's very close. That's, that's perfect. So let's looky here. Dead center punch there. Okay, let's see. That's still not opened up big enough to get your finger in there. Oh yeah, it's it's it's, it's opened up pretty good there. Let's uh oh yeah. Look at the size of that. Okay, here. Oh, yeah. It's doing good. And we're going to kind of stack these up and give you an idea how far that projectile will go. And that'll give you an idea of how well it does against game animals. Okay, I am seeing some little particles of lead. Not sure if it's from that particular projectile, but looky there. You're getting on up there. Oh, we caught it right here. See that big old wad right there? So let's, uh, look at that. I'm going to continue to open this up until we get to it. Oh, yeah. 
trying to keep the core and the jacket together. Now, I just got home from work, so I didn't have time to hardly do nothing. I just, that, that there is a Barnes bullet. I can tell by the base of it. And uh, it's trying to come out of the jacket, but it didn't come out. So we're going to give that a plus. It didn't come out. Now, this is relatively close range. So basically, you're looking at, that's going to be 10 it's going to be 12 inches of penetration through this fairly tough ballistic medium. And uh, the velocities was the same as what they said, which is a good thing. We're going to measure this right quick and weigh it and see how well it did. Also stay tuned because we're going to do some videos on accuracy of these buffalo bore and uh, see how well they do. So... Let's uh, get these weighed. Okay, let's weigh that bullet and see how much it weighs. The thing mushroomed out pretty good. Let's, let's see how big it expanded out to. So it's a little over. It's 70, 74.6 caliber. Let's see how much it weighs. Put it on there. It is 247.6 grains. It started out 250 grains, I believe. It, I don't think it's 255. Let's see. No, it's 255. So it still retained 247 grains, which is good. That's good. That's a good looking bullet. And, uh, I know I said that this was a Barnes because the base of that bullet looked like how Barnes does, but there may be other companies that do that too, leave that little divot at the back. This gun looks like it filled up that rifling really good. They said this bullet is soft enough that it will actually smush out into the rifling and fill it up. So that's interesting to me. And they're saying you can shoot this in your 375 Winchester. And it's going almost the same speed as the 375 Winchester, but with a lot less pressure. And uh, so that's interesting to me also. So I feel like it did a good job. I feel like uh, I feel like they was right. I highly recommend if you're going to shoot these that you go over to their website and check out what they they have uh, said about it. There's how they come packaged. They're Starline brass, so they're very good reusable brass. Uh, like I said, and I got this, uh, I got a $100 uh, gift card when I uh, entered the video into uh, NEPA Gun Talk, and you can check him out. I have a video about his uh, giveaway, and I won that $100 giveaway. And so I decided to buy these so y'all could check them out and see how well they do and don't have to spend your money without knowing what they're going to accomplish. Anyhow, appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless each and every one of you. Thank <laughs> you.